Alright ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to another Hero House Reviews. Today we're looking at the Marvel Legends Excalibur 3-pack. It's been a long time since we did a 3-pack. And basically just a big fan of Captain Britain. I think his run by Alan Moore was just phenomenal. I like the idea. I like the costume, like this incarnation particularly. I don't think it's like an exact replica of how he looked in Excalibur. But you know, it's a cool close costume and it's close enough. And it does have some fantastic sculpting on the face we get this closer in without my hand covering it, or his fist covering it. Like, you can just see all the lines, the mouth is really well done, the frown. Yeah, it looks really, really good. Very impressed. I think it's using an old Thor body, and it's got kind of like hyperion thighs, but it just makes him a big, chunky boy, which Captain Britain is. As you can see, he towers over the ladies. Uh, do I have another frame of reference character to put in? It's going to be the ever-reliable Trini from the Lightning Collection. You can see he's a good inch, at least, taller than her. So he, he a big boy, which is suitable. Kitty Pride, this is here, like her when she was younger, so she's the right height. She's shorter than Megan, so this is like a teenage girl. That works. And Megan, again, perfect height. They're on older female bodies, which is not great, because it means they have limited articulation. Megan's hair is very nicely done. But it also does, and her face does have an ethereal quality. I don't mind the face on this. I think some people have been critical. I'm a fan. Good paintwork all around, except under the arms. Ugh. They haven't painted the, I'm going to say peg. It's not peg. Green. And it stands out. It stands out, and it's an unfortunate thing. Her hair also means that standing her can be a pain. It also limits the head articulation quite a bit. Kid Pride also has balance issues, not really sure why, her hair's not as big a justification. You've got the sash, which hangs, don't mind the sash, or the billowy sleeves. I like the aesthetic of the Kitty Pride. I think she's just a nice figure, and I think the face is very pretty, you've got the Lockheed. Kind of gives off Natalie Portman-esque vibes, I think she might have been used as an inspiration. Uh, Articulation-wise, they're all not, uh Captain Britain's great. He can look up that far, so he can get, like, awesome flight pose out of him. Little bit of attitude, 360 axis of spin. Uh, can get pretty much 90 degrees out of the arm, there's no butterfly joint. Fully rotates. Got a bicep swivel, gonna give you 360. Double jointed elbow, gonna give you more than 90. Yeah. Oh, he's a bit of a, since he's a chunky boy, maybe 90 is the best you'll get out of that double joint. And he's got wrists that are on a hinge. Got a nice, juicy ab crunch. Swivel, he splits, pretty much do the splits, legs comes forward that much. He's got a bice, uh, thigh swivel, that's going to give you 360. Double jointed knee, that's going to give you more than 90, and it's hidden by the puffy boots. I do like the puffy boots. He's got a shin swivel, and his ankle could go down that much, come up that much, and swivels. So, very good articulation, especially for a bigger boy. Like, quite, quite pleased with this Captain Britain. Easily his definitive figure thus far. Almost worth the price of admission if you can get it on sale, which I did. Kitty Pride can barely turn the head because of the hair. I'll take Lockheed out for now. Yeah, can barely turn the head. Arms give you 90. Your rotation is at the elbow, which doesn't move particularly well and will only give you 90 degrees. Hands are on a hinge. Ugh. Has a diaphragm joint but not a great one. That's also where you get your swivel. She can do the kind of the splits, not as well as Captain Britain. Which for a gymnastic-y character isn't great. Leg comes forward 90. Got a thigh swivel. Double jointed knee. And, oh yeah, shin swivel cut into there. Nicely hidden. Foot can come down that much, go up that much. And decent pivot. Yeah, not a bad pivot. So again, it's just old female characters, especially, like, older female bucks, I should say. We're just not articulated. Megan has the same problem. So, she doesn't have the puffy sleeves, but you can only get, yeah, that's, like, less than 90 out of her elbow. That's also where the swivel is. Got the rotation there at the shoulder joint. Her head can move very little without going to a weird angle because of that big, buffy hair. Sacrifices had to be made. Maybe they could have done a better job. Not sure how they would have, but that's just a thing. She's got a diaphragm joint. Again, very limited to almost worthless. Legs can't really do the splits. 
<laughs> Leg comes forward a fair bit. Double jointed knee gives you more than 90. Thigh swivel. No shin swivel on her whatsoever. Foot comes down that much and goes up that much. And we do have a pivot. Ugh, excuse the perhaps less than stellar articulation display there. But again, working down my own articulation. Really, really solid set though, just visually. They look so dynamic. There's a nice mix of colours going on. And yeah, the body sculpt for Captain Britain is great. I like Kitty Pride's look. The collar, everything is very good. If her articulation was better, she'd be a great figure. Megan, yeah, take a leave it, but I guess if you like the character, this is probably the only representation you have, if memory serves. And yeah, it's just very nice. You get the Lockheed Dragon, which... Little, little boy. Not articulated, not an amazing piece by any stretch of the imagination, but he goes on. He doesn't hook on to Kitty Pride as well as I'd like. But with all that said, I'll also show you the Excalibur sword that comes with it. This is quite cool. Don't mind it at all. Uh, I'm going to rate this. It's a lot of fun. For certain, it is a very, very fun kit, and it rounds out the collection. 4.5 out of 5, especially since I got it, like, re very cheap, I think, for three figures. Like, way below the cost of what three Marvel Legends, especially these days, go for. So, yeah, I would say, if you see this pack and it's a decent price, definitely pick it up. If you're a fan of Excalibur or Captain Britain, this is the figure you'd want. So, yeah, 4.5 out of 5. Let's dive into the pack- uh, the patches. Excuse me. Let's dive into the pictures and wrap this up. One sec. Okay, folks, and there you have it, the Marvel Legends Excalibur 3-pack. And it is so much fun. It's not perfect, I mean, you've got the paint issues with Megan, balance issues with both her and Kitty Pride. Lockheed, I hoped for more, I mean, like, I guess he is just a little bit of rubber, but he doesn't perch that well, unless you have to do a lot of fiddling, which, if you're down a hand, is quite a pain. Captain Britain, I think, is definitely, like, the main meal here. That is a fantastic figure, I really, really like him. Both the head sculpts look fantastic, Excalibur's cool, yeah. So, decent swath of accessories, just lots of fun. I mean, also reminded me how awesome that Ulrich figure is. If you've not picked out that Ulrich the Troll, try and get him, especially since I think he's, like, not sold out and might be going on discount soon. If you can get that guy for discount, it's the best bargain of the year. Uh, but yeah, I'm going to give this a 4.5 out of 5. Really, really solid, and if you're into Excalibur, it's a must-have. This Captain Britain is, like, by far the best Captain Britain figure we've gotten. Uh, yeah, otherwise, yeah, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this review. We have plenty more. We have Hero House, Figure Fights, Top 10 List, Ranking List, just loads of content to enjoy. So please like and subscribe, and hopefully I'll see you again. Thanks for your time, and all the best. Bye.